So, magandang magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Welcome to our channel and I'm Ara. For today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang multiplication and division of fraction. So, kung bago kayo sa channel ko, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa mga bago kong uploads. Okay? To multiply fraction, get the product of their numerator and denominator. Example, A over B times C over D. So, get the product of the numerator. Product sa itong numerator ay AC. Product sa ating denominator ay BD where B is not equal to 0 and D is not equal to 0 example 1 4 times 1 6 equals so kunin natin ang product sa ating numerator so, 1 times 1 over ating denominator na 4 times 6. So, it is equal to 1 over 24. So, ito yun ang ating sagot. Paano naman kung involve ang mixed number? To deal with multiplication involving mixed number, first, we write the mixed number into improper fraction. Then, follow the rules of multiplying fractions. So, kung mixed number ang i-multiply natin sa fraction, kailangan natin gawin itong improper fraction. Paano? Example, 2 and 1 fourth times 4 fifth equals so, ito ang mixed number. Ang mixed number is composed of whole number and a fraction. Gawin natin improper fraction. Paano? I-multiply lang natin ang 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8 plus 1. Itong numerator i-add natin. So, it is equal to 9 over 4. Copy the denominator. So, ma-multiply na natin siya sa ating 4 feet is equal to 9 times 4 is 6 over 4 times 5 is 20. So, guys, natandaan nyo, it is still reducible. Kailang, pwede pa natin itong ma-reduce to its lowest term. So, paano? Kailangan nating hanapin ang ilang greatest common factor para gawin nating divisor at i-divide natin sa both numerator and denominator. So, ang greatest common factor niya is 4. So, i-divide natin siya 36 over 20. Divide both numerator and denominator by 4. So, ganun din sa 20. So, it is equal to 9. 36 divided 4 is 9. Over 20 divided 4 is 5. So, it is improper fraction. So, gawin natin tong mix number. So, i-divide lang natin. 9 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 1 times 5 is 5. So, subtract, it is equal to 4. So, ang tamang sagot ay yung 1. And then, the remainder, 4, copy the denominator, 5. So, 1 and 4 feet. Ang tamang sagot. Pwede rin guys, para hindi ka malito, para diretso lang. Pwede rin gawin ninyong i-erase muna natin to. Pwede ring 
divisible by 4 is 1 divisible by 4 is 1 so 9 times 1 is equal to 9 1 times 5 is equal to 5 or it is equal to 1 and 4 fifth. so alin dito ang mas madali sa inyo yun yung gawin nyo ok nasundan ba ok proceed tayo sa division to divide a number by a fraction multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor example if it is a number a divided by b over c get the reciprocal of our divisor a is the dividend and b over c is the divisor get the reciprocal of the divisor so pag sinasabing reciprocal ibig sabihin inverted or balik ta rin. so a times the reciprocal of b over c ibig sabihin balik ta rin natin ang divisor so magigis siyang c over b equals and proceed to multiplication. So, magiging EC over B. Paano naman kung fraction divide by fraction? So, to divide two fraction, multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. Example, A over B divided by C over D, it is equal to A over B Paano? Multiply the dividend Ito yung dividend natin By the reciprocal of the divisor So, reciprocal So, ibig sabihin Balik ta rin. So, times D over C So, it is equal to And proceed to multiplication So, i-multiply natin E D over B C So, another example 5 6 divided by 8 over 3 equals So, diba? Pag mag-divide tayo ng 2 fraction kailangan natin i-multiply ang dividend sa reciprocal ng divisor natin. So, reciprocal, balik, ibig sabihin, balik ta rin. So, 5, 6 times reciprocal 8 over 3. So, balik ta rin natin. Magiging 3 over 8 equal to 5 times 3 is 15 over 6 times 8 is equal to 48 so, it is still reducible to lowest term. So, kailangan natin hanapin yung greatest common factor niya para gawin natin divisor sa both numerator and denominator. So, ang greatest common factor niya ay 3. So, 15 over 48 divided by 3 divided by 3 also yung denominator so 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5 over 48 divided by 3 is equal to 16 so ito na yung sagot natin or pwede rin dumirit so ka guys gawin mo iris mo na natin to pwede rin gawin nyo divided by 3 is 1 divided by 3 is 2 so 5 times 1 is 5 2 times 8 is 16 so ito pinakamadali guys diba? nakuha ba? nasundan ba? okay paano naman kung mixed number ang na-involve so to divide mixed number we write the mixed number into improper fraction, then multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor. 
Example of a mixed number. 17 and 1 half divided by 1 and 1 fourth. So, pag mixed number siya, kailangan natin gawin into improper fraction. Ang una mong gawin, multiply 2 times 17. So, it is equal to 34 plus 1 is equal to 35 over 2 divided by 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4 to divide 2 fraction so kailangan mong i-multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication so 35 over 2 times reciprocal of the divisor natin is balik ta rin yung 5 fourth magiging 4 over 5 so it is equal to divisible by 2 divisible by 2 so it is equal to 2 ito naman divisible by 5 divisible by 5 so 7 so 7 times 2 is equal to 14 1 times 1 is 1 or it is equal to 14 o oh, ba? napakadali lang guys nakuha ba? so ang tandaan nyo lang sa division to divide a number by a fraction multiply the dividend by the reciprocal of the divisor and then proceed to multiplication Pag mixed number naman ang involved, rewrite the mixed number into improper fraction. Okay? So, nasundan ba guys? Ayan guys, diba? Napakabilis lang, madali lang matandaan. At madali lang masun masundan ang procedure kung paano i-multiply and i-divide ang fraction. So, di ba, ganun lang kadali. Kung mag-multiply ka ng fraction, i-multiply mo lang ang numerator and din the denominator. So, makukuha mo na ang tamang sagot. Pag a number naman, i-divide to fraction, kailangan mo multiply ang dividend natin sa reciprocal ng ating divisor. Ganon din pag mix number, kailangan mo lang i-rewrite siya into improper fraction. So, di ba guys, madali lang matandaan. So, kung nagustuhan nyo ang video to, bigyan nyo naman ako ng like. At kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, isubscribe nyo na rin. At isama nyo na ang bell button para updated ka sa mga bago kong uploads. Bye!